Hello, everybody. My name is Ram Garagoslu, and I'm here to tell you about Flow Blockchain. First, a little bit about me. I'm the founder and CEO of Dapper Labs. And before Dapper Labs, I was founder and CEO of Axiom Zen, the company that created CryptoKitties, as well as a variety of other products you might be familiar with, uh, such as Zen Hub, a developer platform, and Fuel, a uh, platform we grew to over 200 million users uh, before exiting. I'm also a pretty active angel investor. I've made over 30 investments, over 10 exits. Um, and I want to invest very actively in consumer products that are using blockchain technology. So if you're working on something that fits that description, please get in touch with me and hopefully I can help you bring your vision to the world. So I'm here to talk about Flow and Flow is really a new kind of blockchain that we at Dapper Labs built from the ground up based on our experience building CryptoKitties on Ethereum um, and even experimenting with Bitcoin back in 2014. Um, and essentially Flow is a new kind of blockchain. It's an application platform first and foremost, and it's designed to handle the scale of consumer applications like NBA Top Shot without compromising decentralization and without complicated scaling solutions like sharding, like layer two or side chains, which really make the developer experience as well as the user experience uh, much more complicated um, and in some cases more unsafe. Um, that's why Flow has been the choice of hundreds of companies from some of the best Fortune 500 uh, brands to some of the most well-loved crypto companies, uh, blockchain companies, and, and NFT products um, in, in the world today. Really, we at Flow see blockchain as another computer platform. It's simply uh, a platform that lets developers like us build new kinds of applications, applications that live forever, that can't be changed, that aren't controlled by anyone or are controlled by their own users, um, and applications that are permissionless, which means that they're accessible by anybody. And of course, if you think about it through these lens, uh, these lenses, um, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are the first uh, decentralized applications, and there are many, many more uh, types of products that can be developed. We think just like the web, just like the, the, the personal computing revolution, Fun and games are going to be what leads the way for mainstream adoption. And they're what helps people realize that they can build new and different kinds of experiences, uh, different kinds of applications with blockchain technology. So that's why we build CryptoKitties. You know, CryptoKitties uh, grew to grew almost $30 million in period of sales, um, a little over $40 million in, in total spent um, on the experience. Um, number one game by far in terms of transaction volume on the Ethereum network um, and, and and obviously uh, very successful in terms of reaching mainstream awareness. Um, but most recently, we followed up with NBA Top Shot, and I think we've outdone ourselves. We took all the best parts of CryptoKitties, um, took, brought them over to Flow Blockchain, and removed all of the limitations um, that, that, that hurt CryptoKitties and made it stall. Um, and in the three months since we've launched NBA Top Shot, so we came out of beta in October 2020, um, we've surpassed CryptoKitties in all-time sales, all-time peer-to-peer sales, um, as well as revenue, uh, with one-sixth of the users. So it shows tremendous growth potential even within the crypto industry before even expanding out to uh, mainstream basketball, sports uh, fans, daily fantasy, uh, and so on and so forth. Just really quickly, the way NBA Top Shot works is you have limited edition drops, limited edition items that come in these packs that sell out very, very quickly. There are different kinds of items within those packs from the most common um, to the most rare, the ultimate tier. Um, and, and some of them are artist collaborations. Some of them are uh, uh, editorial things that we, we choose with working with the NBA. And there's just a tremendous amount of peer peer activity. And that's where the action happens. Uh, later this year, there'll be a mobile game coming out where people can use their collections to essentially battle against each other. Um, and we're already seeing that this is really exciting to NBA fans. Number of converted users is through the roof. This has even uh, gotten higher today, of course. And peer-to-peer -peer volume is also absolutely unprecedented. We're having $4 million, $5 million, $6 million, $7 million traded um, every day between players, and it's really amazing to see. And the balance is also shifting, where we are making plenty of revenue, um, but it's really great to see that peer-to-peer -peer volume um, is what's shooting through the roof. And that's partially what's contributing to retention rates that are absolutely unprecedented and that are showing people outside of the blockchain world just what's possible when you integrate blockchain into your applications. And that brings me to uh, what's going on in the land of flow. 
beyond MBA Top Shot because Flow is really an ecosystem. It's a uh, partnership between the people who hold Flow tokens, the developers, creators, um, and of course the network operators that are securing the platform. And I think over the last few months, we've made a lot of progress on each of these fronts. Um, we've had staking commence and very, very successful. Most of the flow in the ecosystem um, for a period was staked supporting the network. We had liquid flow that's beginning to get traded um, outside of the US uh, between, between token holders. Um, we've go, we're going from 333 nodes to 346 nodes. So those of you that have been waiting for, for a node slot will hopefully get it. Um, and then our highest priority is in our developers and our creators and helping people bring their visions to mainnet uh, and having the same sort of success that, that we're seeing today. Um, we have a lot of demand in terms of developer activity, a lot of people wanting to come and use our tools, a lot of people loving Cadence as a programming language. Over 10,000 projects have been uh, deployed to the playground, um, but we need a deeper partnership between um, the folks that are building on Flow, um, the developers, as well as the, the core team um, and, and the people that are helping you bring your products to market. So my ask to developers that are building on Flow is give us feedback, um, ask for support, um, and try to uh, use our learnings uh, in order to accelerate your potential um, and your chances of success. The, the, the best place to start is docs.onflow.org. Um, that's a, uh, a, a you'll, you'll see a link there to Kitty Items. Kitty Items is the first sample application on Flow. So it's, it's uh, front end is hosted on IPFS, uh, back end is just runs on the Flow testnet. And essentially this is a demonstration of how you can build Flow applications in a way that uh, is both compatible with custodial and non-custodial wallets right out of the box. And so this is a fantastic place to start um, to learn Cadence, to see the, the Flow client library uh, in action. Um, and if you have any, any questions, go to discord.gg slash flow, uh, join the community, and, uh, and we'll be there to help you. Uh, thank you so much for listening to my presentation. I hope to see your logo as part of this uh, beautiful circle of logos soon. Um, if you have any questions, please follow me on Twitter, Roham G. My DMs are always open. Join us on Discord, discord.gg slash flow, um, and I hope to see you all soon. Thank you. The league has launched something called NBA Top Shot. Instead of collecting cards with the player's likeness and stats, the sport is letting fans buy a piece of the action. It may sound confusing. It is. It kind of is. Yeah. That's the point. But so far, it's raking in big bucks. Matt King is here with an explainer. They're going to give it to Vince. He's going to take a three and hit it. That final shot of then 43-year-old Vince Carter's 22-season NBA career came last March, on the day the association suspended its season due to COVID-19. One can now buy a limited edition version of that highlight for $40,000 through the NBA Top Shot marketplace. It's something that has verifiable scarcity. So Head of Partnerships and Marketing at Dapper Labs, Katie Tedman, started speaking with both the NBA and the Players Association about creating blockchain officially licensed digital video collectibles nearly three years ago before launching a beta version of NBA Top Shot Moments in June. We look for the best stuff. We look for a rookie's first moment on the court. We look for um, a veteran's greatest milestone. Top Shot sold out of its second release of nine to $240 packs of moments in October and reports nearly half a million sales on its secondary marketplace. Like half of those were under $9. The other half involved collectors like a 29-year-old game designer in the UK who goes by Pranksy. Dapper Labs confirmed his $6 million collection ranked first in the world in total moments owned and, according to Intangible Market, third in value as of Monday evening. Consider generations who now only know of a digital lifestyle, social media, etc. Pranksy told Fox 5, how much of their life do they share on TikTok and Instagram and no longer take photos for their mantelpiece? I think this is the collectible equivalent. It happened very quickly. I think the uh, the bubble will eventually burst, but I don't think we've reached that point of real you know, saturation yet. Forbes staff writer Thomas Beer expects top shot prices to continue to rise and other leagues to watch the NBA collect a piece of every one of these sales and want their own blockchain collectible moments. I think it's a natural evolution of the product. We haven't hit a league that is not interested. And Tedman sees future utilizations in music, fashion, and beyond. It's really a first step into this um, world of digital collectibles and verifiable digital collectibles. I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.
It is wild. You don't want to miss out, but you kind of got to figure out exactly what's going on. That's cool, though. Yeah, it's it really is very next gen for sure. Weekend. That was. A, I think you did a good job explaining that. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, so far the COVID vaccine rollout hasn't exactly. Been